Good morning, y'all. I feel better. I feel better. How are y'all doing this morning? Um, I'm not 100%, but then, I don't know what's going on with my gate, y'all, but I gotta be squeezing through. This is crazy. I need to fix it. Um, ooh, I'm a little bit out of breath. Oh God, please tell me I have water. Nope, which means I gotta fill this thing. And y'all know I'm running late. Ah, jeez Louise. Anyways, um, how y'all doing this morning? Um, I have some Dayquil on board. Um, my coughing has subsided a little bit. I don't know what that was. It was a little bit of something, but right now I'm feeling good. You know, kind of want to do that James Brown little dance. I feel good. Um, <clears throat> anyways, y'all, let me get this water thing going. I got to do this on a rush. But um, I am going to up pop my peppers tonight. Come hell or high water. I'm doing it. Um, and then I'm going to get all the other um, seeds started that I am probably a week behind done. So not my tomatoes yet, not my cucumbers yet, um, but I am gonna get all the herbs started, the flowers started, and um, some peas started. Anyways, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel, My Garden and Me. I hope you all having a blessed, beautiful, wonderful day, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye y'all. Hello, <laughs> it is 7.06 p.m. I am still in my work clothes because I came home from work and then got back to work. I was doing working remotely. Work-life balance, people. Anyways, I am going to get started on getting my parakeets are acting up, y'all. Um... No, they're not my parakeets. They're my mom's parakeets. Not mine. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get started on up potting my peppers like I told you that I would. Because they just need to. Like, they're kind of bursting. And um, a lot of them, I got maybe 95% germination on the peppers. Um, and so I just kind of need to put them in their own little bucket so that they can grow up. I have a couple of them that are looking leggy, um, but we'll work on that. Um, yeah, so, and then I said that I was gonna start my flowers as well. I don't know though if I have enough um, trays to start, because the wind, you should, you should hear what's going on outside. This windstorm business where I'm living is just not the coolest, but Whatever, I'm going to see the yard in a mess tomorrow once again. Um, but that's all right. It is what it is. As I'm talking to y'all, the work folks are texting and they keep on texting and they keep on texting. Work-life balance. Work-life balance. Anyways, let me stop rambling. Let me go get... Um, my dirt or my soil, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have some potting mix in the house that I brought in with um, some, I added some extra peat moss to it so it'll retain moisture. Uh, but what I didn't do, y'all, I didn't bring in um, my worm castings, which I plan on mixing that in to give them some kind of nutrients. That's okay. I'm just gonna put some liquid fertilizer, um, fish fertilizer in them tomorrow and they should be fine. But for now, we're just gonna go with the plain potting mix with some peat moss mixed in and then full of trays. Oh my God, I've been rambling for almost three minutes. Let me get off of here and get this thing started. Hold on. Are you recording? <laughs> Okay, all right, so here is what I've done so far. So this was, if you can see, the peat moss is a little bit different right here. And um, right here 
is my um, potting mix and you can tell the difference, right? See that? Okay, so I'm just basically putting them in there and mixing them together. Ooh. Because you want it properly mixed in. And this thing has been in the sun too long. It is falling apart, y'all. It's cracking every time I touch it. It's been in the sun. So. Okay. Gotta mix it in, y'all. Mix it in, mix it in. Good enough. So it's not wet, you guys. And I'm gonna wet it later, but not right now. After I'm done um, putting it in the trays, then I'll get it all wet. Okay, I think that's it. So here are my peppers. I filmed it before, but it didn't film the way I wanted it to. So I'm redoing this. But here are the peppers. Um, Craig's Grande Jalapeno. If you can see, it's um, looking kind of um, leggy. Um, those were the first to um, germinate. Um, the Sugar Rush Peach. A lot of them have their true leaves on them already. The Kion Long, the Boot Jalokia, um, California Wonder. Oh, actually one did sprout. Look at there. I didn't see that one before. Serrano Chili, dollar store people, dollar store, a year old. And I pretty much got 100 germination on that one. Um, Lemon Dream, one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. And then this one is another Dollar Tree brand, uh, Grand um, Bell mix sweet nothing tabasco i got three four four and five coming up and then um the tobago seasoning right here um one two three four carolina reaper y'all i only got two look at there so i'm thinking i need to plant another if I don't, the rest don't germinate after I take these out, then I'm gonna then the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet too. Took forever this one and this one. These two took forever. The oh my gosh, the Trin, the chocolate Trinidadian Scorpion. I got five. Woo! I'm so excited. Um, and then the habanero, I got four. Um, and then the California Wonder. This is a sweet pepper. Um, I got one, two, three four of these and then the little banana I got four of these so as you can see there's some little yellow in can you see that compared to that one yeah they need nutrients so they need to come up and come out look at that that's so they need some kind of um, fertilization so we're gonna do fish emulsion since I forgot my verm um, my worm castings so once I put them in here 
got two trays. Then I'm going to um, go ahead and um, put like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of uh, fish emulsion, mix that with some water, and then bottom feed, bottom water them so that they can have the nutrients that they need. Anyways, let me get started. I'm going to set you up on the tripod. I hope y'all can see. I hope y'all can see. Can y'all see? Anyways, um, we're going to start off with the jalapenos. So I am basically going to do something like so. Oh, there's water in there. Huh. Stick my hand up in there. I'm trying to pull those babies out. Take that big clump out. I'm going to mess up my carpet. I just know it. Um, ooh. Look at the roots, y'all, already. Can you see? Holy. So, yeah, this is why they need separating. So, I have five of these. I'm going to keep all five. I'm going to be doing this in my dining room again, y'all. Wow. Whoa, they're completely tangled. Now we're gonna shake off some of this stuff. Gentle, y'all. Gentle, gentle. I hope y'all can see. And I am just going to stick these in there. I waited too long. I certainly waited too long. I'll let these get too big. Oh my gosh, look at the root system. Isn't that cool? This is like two weeks worth of growth, y'all. And I'm probably gonna have to up pot these again that's okay. Um, anyways, you guys, so you get the gist of it, right? So I'm going to speed you through and just kind of get them all done and I'll show you what the end product looks like. Hold on. I ran out of space. <laughs> I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I still have 28 peppers left to plant. And I have 15 and 15. So I have 30 pepper plants. What? No, I don't have 30 because I didn't plant one in here. This spot is empty. I have 29 pepper plants planted out by themselves. Plus I have another 28 that I have to go. I run out of space, y'all. Is this what's gonna happen with my tomatoes? How am I gonna get these under light? Y'all tell me what you're doing. Because I've never planted this much before. Some of them I do plan on giving away because um, I, I love peppers, but this is crazy. Who needs five plants of the same thing? It's a little bit excessive. So I plan on having three plants of each. Um, but yeah, dude, it's a lot. It is a lot. So let's get these back. Let's water these guys in and uh, get them back under the light. And then I'll turn the lights off for tonight. I don't know if I'm going to put the dome on. They don't need to be germinated anymore, so I'm going to take them the, the humidity dome off of it. They're in the garage. The heater is on, so hopefully they do well. I'm going to put them closer to the heater 
Um, I am though um, gonna cover up the ones that are small that I haven't planted out in their separate section yet um, because those definitely need some help. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely see. Anyways, let me show y'all what I got. Okay. Sugar Rush Peach, I only got two of these to germinate. Um, and then I planted the rest going this way. So Tobago Seasoning, Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, and the California Wonder. Now this is sweet. These two are hot. These two are hot. Um, over here is originally what I planted. So I have a couple more hot and sweet, hot, um, and hot, hot. So I'm gonna cover these back in the dome and um, let them grow out just a little bit more. I might add some, this one is super wet. Ugh. Um, I don't know why that one is wet more than the others, but it's super duper wet. So we need to dry that out just a little bit. And then over here, I have the jalapenos right here, cayenne long slim right here, and then the chocolate Trinidadian scorpion right here. Woo! So, like I said, I have all these left to plant out in their own little cells. I think I have more of these. If not, I'm gonna go on Amazon and, um, and look for some, or, cause it's just easier to kind of grow them in here versus putting them in the large containers. So we'll see. All right. Okay, you guys. So here is everything. These are the ones that I that I planted out um, um, in their own, a pepper in each. And then this one as well. And then these are the ones that I still need to separate. As you can see, there's clusters there. Um, yeah. So I'm going to keep them under the humidity domes for at least tomorrow because some of them were like touching the thing and they got, I think they got a little bit burned. So we're just going to wait for them to perk up a little bit. See, laying down flat. They'll be all right though. Um, they'll bounce back. But I just wanted to make sure that we give them a, a good fighting chance. So anyways, you guys, that is it. I am done until tomorrow. When hopefully I can have those delivered tomorrow or I'll find a solution. I think I have more, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, you guys, give me a minute. So y'all, as I sit here with my blankie, I realize I did not close out this video properly. So I just want to thank you guys for watching once again. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and go ahead and hit that notification bell. Um, I always forget that part. If you all want to see when I upload videos, um, go ahead. I'm trying to do at least once a week. Sometimes I'll do two a week, but we'll see. Um, again, to the the people who have been with me from the very beginning, to the ones that are subscribing right now, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate y'all. And I know I say that, but y'all just don't know. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for entertaining my ramblings. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank y'all. Have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye.